The CDC's latest National Youth Tobacco Survey found that 2.8 million middle and high school students reported using tobacco products, and the majority of those are e-cigarettes. And the number of young people vaping is increasing, especially among middle schoolers. Joining us now to talk more about this is pediatrician and author of You Are Not a Bad Parent, Dr. Elizabeth Henry. Welcome. Well, hello. It's great to be here. All right, let's <laughs> talk about what vaping is and why it's become so popular with teenagers. Well, vaping, when you vape, you're inhaling an aerosol or vapor through an e-cigarette or vape pen. And um, it's become popular mostly because it's very appealing to young people. There's uh, aggressive marketing, which is colorful. It comes in all types of flavors, fruit flavors, dessert flavors. And uh, young people think that it's not as harmful as cigarettes, which is not necessarily true. And some don't even think that the vape pens contain nicotine. And Wow, I think that's a big deal. Just you know, because you do think because you don't smell the smoke that right. oh, it can't be as bad as smoking. But so, how do the cigarettes and vape pens work, and what substance can they deliver? And and they are just as bad as cigarettes. Well, the the vape pen contains an e-liquid or a, a, a liquid that is heated up and vaporizes and is inhaled into the lungs, and the liquid contains chemicals like organic compounds heavy metals which can mm. lead to cancer it can cause cancer it contains nicotine and flavoring and some uh, vape pens can have THC which is the psychoactive ingredient of marijuana so that leads to the potential for abuse so it's very concerning and has led to widespread use in schools I think also because the smoke is not coming out, it's easier to hide from the parrot, you yeah, know, if you're going to do that in the room. There are all kinds of contraptions. Yeah. They look like flash you know, flash drives, yep, and yep. there are even hoodies where you can stick oh the, the vape in the drawstring. So you don't know what you don't know, and it's important for parents to know. So let's talk about the harmful effects, um, especially on teenagers. There are many harmful effects because, as I've mentioned in other segments, the teenage brain develops up until age 25. 25. The nicotine can cause adverse and negative effects in parts of the brain that control uh, attention and learning and mood and impulsivity. And then on, on top of that, it can cause adverse effects in the lungs, really mm -hmm. lung damage. It can be life-threatening lung damage, as well as burns, which we see when the batteries are defective and can explode and catch on fire. And we've talked about how it's easier these days to hide from parents. So what, what should parents look for? There are several things, and one is weird gadgets, techie gadgets mm -hmm. that you're not familiar with, uh, or, or charging cables, pods or cartridges that are discarded. Uh, they can look for, or if they smell a fruity smell mm -hmm. or um, a dessert smell or sweet smell that there's no source in the house for, that's a red flag. If they're unfamiliar packages coming to the house or uh, purchases online that they didn't uh, purchase, those could be products that their kids are ordering. And most importantly, language. Like So in text language, if you see the words like Addy and VG, and and sauce and Nick those are all vaping terms so if you happen to see those in text those are red flags Wow, I haven't even heard of any of those <laughs> so I have some education to, to work on thank you so much dr. Liz I really appreciate your help well thank uh, thanks for having me